one of you control of the um, presentation. And uh, so I'll start with an introduction. I'd like to thank everyone again for joining us tonight. I'm joined by Evan Mugford and George Curtis with Online Marketing Workshop. Uh, together, they run a very successful internet marketing company that helps businesses and entrepreneurs market online. Their areas of specialty include website design, PHP coding, PPC management, search engine optimization, and search marketing. Some of their past and present clients include Fortune 500 companies, international businesses, and small and local businesses as well. Uh, they, companies such as Orange Julius, Hickory Farms, Future Shops, and more. They've developed several software products and WordPress plugins, some of which I can't tell you about yet because they're not released to the public, but you'll be hearing about those over the next several months. But I will promise you this, if you do internet marketing, you're going to be very excited and you will want these plugins eventually. But tonight, uh, we're here to not only tell you about a very special plugin, but to demo it as well and answer your questions about it. Now, uh, Evan and George, they actually gave me a private demo of this plugin about three weeks ago, and, and I totally flipped over it. So I'm very honored to uh, to have them come and share it with you tonight. And with that, uh, Evan and George, uh, take it away. Great. Go oh, ahead. First, could, oh, first, could you um, show George's screen there, Willie? Okay, trying to figure out how to do that. <laughs> Okay, it says uh, it's George's screen. Yep. Okay. 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 Can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Okay, well, thank you very much, Willie. We're, we're very, very excited to be here. And Evan and myself are with Marketing Online Workshop. We have several other websites. And as Willie discussed, we run a, an online marketing company. We help businesses market online and, and you know we, we love doing that but what we like doing I think that makes us unique from a lot of other people Willie is that Evan and I like to listen to customers we're actually the internet marketers that are interfacing with customers all over most of the United States we have some international customers and from a wide range of I mean you know people small mom and pop companies some um, fortune 500 companies and and all in between and we listen and if you just listen to your customers, they come up with ideas. And lots of times they'll say something like, um, can you do so-and-so? And, of course, our first answer is, no, we can't do that. Right. And then and, and I'll go ask Evan, Evan, can we do that? And But then he'll wake up in the middle of the night, say, hey, or, or you'll wake up the next morning with an idea, or I will, or somebody will. And if, if, your, if you listen to your customers, they'll give you all the ideas for products and services that you want, and some of the most successful companies in the world do that, and and that's yep. how we come up with stuff. And I, I know just from our discussion uh, earlier in the week that I know, we noticed uh, something that was missing that was a perfect plug-in, and, and uh, I know that's being worked out, so I, I saw that in action. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and, and even, again, uh, Willie had an, uh, uh, an idea or, or not an idea, but maybe a little problem, right. and it inspired another plugin that we're working on right now. We had to put it on the back burner. It's like we had to put it behind two, three or four more that we have. But if you don't have any, if you want to get online and market, and you don't have anything to market, I suggest you go out and, and get customers, especially if you're providing like internet marketing services, and listen to them, and they will give you all the ideas you'll ever need. But tonight here, we're we're here to talk about our product called the Mo FB, and I had somebody tell me today on a call, and um, he said, you know, that's a bad name, Mo FB. Why did y'all choose that? What does that mean? Well, Mo stands for Marketing Online Workshop, and FB stands for Facebook, but we're kind of painted into a corner here. You can't go out and reserve a domain name um, and, and have the word Facebook in it or the word WordPress in it because it'd be a, a, a trademark violation. Right. They're, their attorneys, attorneys would be all over you. In fact, we tried, and um, <laughs> we didn't get past the name sheet. Yeah, we didn't get very far. Yeah, they, they stopped this right in our tracks. So you can't buy this. You've got to call this toll-free number. And anyway, that's another story. But um, so, but we're, we're very, very excited, all we have, about this particular plug-in. And it pretty much shows you how to run your existing WordPress installation right 
inside of Facebook, and and you can run part of the part of your installation, and in other words, create pages that show up in in, in that'll show up on your site but won't show up in Facebook. You can create pages that will show up on Facebook and not show up on your website. You can just set it and forget it and do the whole thing. And the great thing about this call is we're not just going to talk and, and show you a couple PowerPoint slides. In fact, what you see here is the only PowerPoint slide before we talk about a special offer at the end. And I want to say, because we're going to go right to the screen and we're going to demo this and we're going to take your questions so you can actually if, if, if what we like for you to do is, is as you're, you're thinking of a question, go ahead and type that question in the little chat window there, and um, you can type it, and, and and that way we can be. I know we got two features here: the raise your hand feature and the type feature. And by the way, if you if you've never used Go to Webinar before, you can click the very top bar, double click it, and kind of maximize the screen a little bit. And you can also hit that little orange arrow and minimize it so it's not taking up your, your screen on the orange arrow and so you have more room to look. But go ahead and type your questions while you're thinking about them. We'll try to get to almost all the questions if we can at the end. Uh, and, and we might see a question or two in the middle and I, I might interrupt Evan or Evan might interrupt me or Willie might interrupt and ask, and ask that question if it's pertinent to what we're doing. And I also want to tell you about a special bonus that we're doing just for the friends of Willie. So, and, and of course we're not going to tell you about that so you'll stay and listen. We're not going to tell you about that until the end of the call, but it's a special uh, plugin that we're giving giving you away, just giving away to you just for attending the call. You don't have to join a list. You don't have to jump through any hoops. We're going to give you my favorite plugin and the tutorial to go along with it, and you can you know download it, use it all you want, put it on all your clients' websites or all your websites. We don't care. Um, so you you get the we took the the, the uh, restrictions off of it, so you, you don't just get the plugin; you get the agency version. And you know, we we said the plugin is probably a ninety-seven dollar value. Well, the agency versions would be like a hundred forty-seven dollar value. And so, stick around to the end of the call. And uh, Evan, okay, I'm just gonna. Do you want to just make me the presenter there, George? No, I got the the plugin up and ready to go. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> you should have the screen. You do. Okay. Can you see the the plug in there? Yes, we can. Okay, and this is the basic after you install the plug in, this is basically what you're gonna see. And I'm just gonna go through some of the different features. So first I'm just gonna show you this page the way it's running right now, and that's this page right here. I'm choosing the default twenty ten theme for the introduction. I, I put a couple of pictures in and installed the um fancy box plug in. And for, for, for our listeners who have never installed the WordPress plugin, they're just basically dropping the file into the appropriate folder in their WordPress installation, right? And exactly. Yeah, they just go to their plugin folder and they can just drop it in there. Or alternatively, if they went through this section, they click plugins, they can click add new. Okay. And then they can just upload a plug click upload here. And then they would just browse to the plugin and hit install. Yep. Good. That simple. And then on the, the default install, I installed them. Um, this is another plugin that I installed just to show how these things will work inside of Facebook. And this is the um, Contact Form Seven. So, in when you first install the plugin, I'll, I'll just run down through the options really quick of a few things. By default, it's going to show the last five pages. You can click these drop-down buttons here. So, if you want to show the last five, five, ten. Posts on your WordPress on your Facebook site, you can just change this here and hit update along with pages. Or if you didn't want to have any particular, if you'd rather have a particular page or post show rather than having your your last page or post show, you can just select them here. And, and Evan, real quickly, let's yep. talk about why somebody why do we why are we given these different options? Uh, some people run their website like a blog, and, and yeah, they, exactly. And they, I'll show it inside a. Facebook here right now the way it's set up and it has them pages with just the, the excerpts for each one and like George was saying some some of you just want to have your blog inside of Facebook so when you guys make a new page or post it automatically will be added to Facebook because and bump the the oldest one out of the list 
So this this is the exact same page running in Facebook. So the home page that I showed you there before, where I clicked the fancy box plugin, this is the home page, and I can click it, and it all the plugins and things like that that you install in WordPress will also work inside of your Facebook page. Hey, and, so, and can I? I hate to interrupt you again, Evan, but I, I kind of want to sell our audience on on. Okay, now because I'm sure at least one or two of you are thinking, well, okay, what's the big deal running my website? inside of Facebook. Well, there's several big deals about it. Number one, if you are prone to do any Facebook advertising, and, and our company does a lot of PPC management for companies, I'll have to tell you that the hot thing right now is advertising on Facebook. They have really got it down as far as profiling people because they can they see all your likes and, the, and w w what you're visiting, where you're going when you leave Facebook, all the pages and the friends and what you like and they they're taking all that profile information and they're throwing you ads up on the right hand side and they're more importantly they're throwing your potential customers ads and you can advertise in Facebook and if you know what you're doing you can do really well but here's a secret that a lot of people aren't doing they're advertising and they're doing exactly what Facebook really doesn't want them to do they're they're advertising and People are clicking the ad, and it's taking them off or outside of Facebook. Well, Facebook is quote unquote penalizing. They won't have business, the advertising business, but they're penalizing these companies, and these companies are paying a lot more for advertising and not even realizing it. Now, what if you wanted to run some Facebook advertising, and instead of sending them outside of Facebook, you send them to your your default. Facebook page or maybe your, your your the app in Facebook that will show your your website running inside of Facebook. So if you've got an e-commerce business or you've got something to sell or something to give away that you know that's going to get um, customers in a funnel and get them going to buy something, you can advertise for a song uh, in, by keeping that traffic inside of Facebook. And the only way to do that is, of course, to implement your site inside of Facebook. Go ahead, Evan. Okay, I'm just going to make a quick change here just to show how easy it is to, to make changes. So like right now I have it set up more like a blog where it's showing my last, my last so many pages and um, posts, and it's not showing really a home page. So what, what I'm going to do right quick is I'm going to disable this feature, and I'm going to decide that I want to have my home page as my home page inside of Facebook. So I'm just going to check off the home page. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the plugin, you're going to notice an area that says excerpt. And what that does is cut the page off to that many characters on, on per section. So right here, these are all 100 characters that I set it up to cut off at. Since I want to just show one page, I'm going to shut this off. I, you'll see it right here, zero equals no exit. So I'm going to put a zero in there. And then I'm going to hit update on the plugin. And when I refresh Facebook, you'll notice that my new page for my home page on Facebook no longer has the blog look. It's the entire page for the home page. And you'll, you'll also notice I have some menus up here. I'm not just going to show you right quick on how to set up a menu using the plugin. <clears throat> if you scroll down in the plugin, you're going to notice an area that has your header in it. And this area here has my home about us, special, and contact us. And right now, they aren't linking anywhere. So I want to link these up so that they link to the appropriate pages. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my home page link, which is right down the very bottom of the page. So I'm just going to highlight this. And this is your, your URL for the Facebook iframe, and I'm going to copy that. And that's your home page link. So I'm going to go back up, and I'm going to right-click on the home, and I'm going to, in, to click inside the link, and then right-click, and I'm going to insert and edit that link. It's going to bring up the, a dialog box where I can just go to the link URL, and I can paste this in and hit Update. Now, this theme I'm editing here, you might be wondering where I got this. They're all available on the workshop. We, there's, I believe, was it 20 or 22, George? I, I know it's 25, 22 and counting. We're, we're adding yeah, more. Yeah, there's 22 free themes in the workshop. After you buy the plug-in, you have access to all the, these different color themes. And they're, they're pretty much all completely different, where you're able to grab some different themes. And we'll be updating them. Or you can easily build your own, which I'm going to go over in a minute. Yeah, and, and real quickly, just for, I'm, I'm trying to play dumb guy here, and, yep. and, and no questions are dumb, and usually mine are, though. So. But, okay, Evan, why, why, I thought this put my whole white website inside of Facebook. Why do I have to build a menu if it puts my website inside of Facebook? Well, what it's doing is, it's, what the plugin is capable of doing is 
pulling any content from the WordPress database into Facebook. And basically what it does is it allows you, I, I know people say it can't be done, but it's working, that um, it allows you to run two themes consecutive, consecutively on one WordPress install. So basically, you have your 500 pixel wide theme that runs inside of Facebook at the same time as you have your regular theme, which runs your website at the same time. So it's basically using one set of content and displaying in two different areas with two different themes at the same time. So when you make a change to your main website, it automatically updates your Facebook page without you having to edit a second page anywhere. Yeah, all your words, all your pictures, <laughs> and, and any forms that you want, those can be can appear in Facebook, but you're not going to get a, a, an 800 pixel wide or even wider um, menu with a header and all that header and menu in Facebook. They have to scroll left to right and it'd be real clunky and clunky, and they'd have to use a scroll bar. And so you're going to you 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 would have to make a smaller theme. And again, we provide the theme for that, or you could have a, a Photoshop designer do that. But that's that makes by by doing this, you're able to use all the content. You create your theme one time, and you're done with it. Versus if you're having to do content all the time, you, every time you create a page, if you're trying to do this with two separate installs, it would be a nightmare. Yeah, I'm just going to go in and show some screenshots of some of the things that they'll receive with the plugin. And if this is uh, the work, the marketing online workshop where you'll you'll get access to the plugin. And in here, there's a the first theme pack that we released that you could click on, and you can download any of these themes. And um, there's some screenshots here, some different ones. We even did a, a two-column theme there. Yep. And that's the one I'm using right now. And all of these themes. The themes that we're providing, we also included the PSD files. And anybody that's not familiar with a PSD file, what that is is a Photoshop file, which basically you can open up. And if you want to change company name to your name, you can open that file up and click in where it says company name, company name there, and just type in your own name. And there's that we have six examples there, but there's 22 in that pack that you you can download. And we will be releasing more that you'll get for free. That'll be in the back end of the workshop. So back to doing the menu, this section here is is for getting the links for each of the pages. So I, I, I want to do an about us, a specials, and a contact us. So I've already created them pages in WordPress. So I'm going to click on them three pages, and I'm going to hit the Get Links button. What that's going to do is it's going to build a link that fits inside of Facebook for each of them pages and give me the link for I can add it to my menu for Facebook. So I'm just going to grab each one of these links. So this is my About Us link. I'm going to click in About Us, right click, insert edit link, and I'm going to paste that in. And then I'm just going to repeat the process for the other two. And for people watching this who think, well, that's going a little fast, you guys have comprehensive tutorials on everything that they're learning anyway. Exactly. I'm just trying to, I'm rushing through it a little bit just because I, I know, I know right. we only have so much time yet. So once you get your, your links in there, you would just click Update. And now what, what's going to happen is your Facebook fan page, is all these links are going to work. So I'm going to refresh now. And if I hit the Contact Us page, it's going to take us to the Contact Us page of our website. And it's the exact same page that is running here. So I'm just going to go and edit that um, page. I'll make that um actually I'll just make a bold, that's all. So and I'm just gonna update that. If you know how to use the WYSIWYG editor, um and you know how to put pictures and images and face in, in WordPress. Yeah, anything you do in your regular WordPress web pages will also work. They pull the same data over to your fan page. So you'll notice that I have in the actual page I have a thing for the contact form and that's the the tag for contact form seven, and you'll notice that the plugin itself is pulling in the contact form. So it's running all them tags through the WordPress 
before it ever displays it on Facebook. I'm not sure if I updated this. I'm just going to re-update here. So if I refresh the website here, you'll notice now that the, the website itself says Hello Friends of Willie now, and also I'm just going to refresh and click back to the contact page on our fan page. And this is also saying Hello Friends of Willie now. So I was able to update both of them pages at the same time through the plugin. The next thing I'm going to show you there, just I'll, I'll click the other links right quick there, just to show you how they're working. And then here's a picture that I also had the fancy box plugin running on. Okay, so back into the plugin. <coughs> The next, uh, the next feature I'll show them is um, there's a we just added a new feature to the the application which um allows you to enable a like script. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar, what that does is you notice up at the top of Facebook on every page there's a like button. Well, what this does is it allows you to make somebody like your page before they see anything else on your page, so you can display what you want and they have to like it in order to get it. So, for instance, if you want to give out a free ebook. You could have a, a a big spiel about the ebook and tell them that if they want to, if they want the ebook, hit the like button, and after they hit the like button, the content will change and it'll display the download link for the for the ebook. That's just one application of where you could use it. I'm just going to show you how to use that script. So I'm just going to hit enable like script here. And I, I already made a quick little picture that I'm going to stick in there, and I'm going to show you another feature of the plug. Again, it's called upload files. So what I want to do is I want to upload an image to that to that page. So I clicked upload files, and I'm going to go down to the upload files section and click choose file. And I, I've got a file here called Red Lake first, and I'm going to hit upload. And this is going to give me this green success block. And you'll notice it also gave me a link. And this is the direct link to the image. So I'm just going to highlight this and go back in to the the plugin. So now that I have that link and I've enabled the like script, you'll notice that I have this new block that appeared, and it's the, your content that will show if you haven't liked the page yet. So I'm going to click in there, and I'm going to add this image that I just uploaded by clicking the Image Upload button, and just paste in the URL, and then hitting Insert. So that just added a picture, and I'm going to hit Update on this. They could have just as been, well been words or, or maybe... It could, yeah, anything. It, it's just a WYSIWYG editor there, so you can put a bunch of words there, or a bunch of pictures, or you could have a 10-foot-long page if you wanted to in that block. Oh, Evan, um, tell them, what, what's the youngest age of someone who successfully installed this plugin? Seven. <laughs> my, my, little, my little one was able to install the plugin and use it. So we have, we have really good tutorials, and it's pretty pretty... So you notice by making that change, it's displaying the image that I I just uploaded there, and it's saying that if you want to see more to like like the the page. So after if I go up here and I click like, it's going to refresh after my computer picks up there, and then it's going to show the content. So if for instance I could have had a big picture there of um, telling about an ebook or a plugin or anything that I want to give away in order to increase my likes on Facebook and the only way to get it is to hit the like button, and then you can have that content hidden until after they hit the like button. Do you mind showing them how our site, how how we're doing the like? Or are we okay. Here's the the marketing online workshop. Now I, I'm gonna have to unlike, I think, George. Okay. Yeah. Let's refresh. We did this one for demonstration purposes too. That um. It, it displays the, the marketing online workshop, and what this is is just an animated GIF image that I made in Photoshop, and I got the little arrow moving here to tell them to like it. Yeah. And so, then once once you hit like, it, it'll display the the content of the page. And for those who don't know a whole lot about Photoshop or anything, I'm what about five bucks? You can have somebody online make you a five dollars or less, make you something like. Oh, that. easily, and also in inside the workshop, we do training on all that stuff too. Oh yeah, show you how to do it. Um, is there any questions from anybody so far there? Let me check. 
Not yet. Okay. Now, another feature here is um, how will links work. And now, this is more apt for if you're using the blog feature, because you'll notice that um, I'm just going to get back to the, the demo page here. Okay, I'm just going to limit the content on that page by changing the excerpt. Actually, I'll say about 500. Okay, you'll notice that it added a read more button because of the fact that all the content isn't being showed anymore. Now, what that is doing is basically this read more button is going to either, when I click it, it's going to read more inside of Facebook, or I have the option to open a new tab or the option to take over the tab. So I'm just going to show you how that would work. So right now I have it so links stay on Facebook. So if I hit the read more button, it goes to another page within the Facebook system. Now, if you want to have all your, say, your last 10 posts listed with the excerpt and then a, a read more button, and if they hit the read more button, they're taken to your website, you can just change this here. So I'll change it so it opens in a new window, and I'll hit update here. And you may, you now, may want to test this as well and to see what what do you think the well, better conversions yeah. yep so okay. now now that um i refreshed and if i hit the button you'll notice it opens a new tab and brings me to the website with with the whole post that's there it's kind of, one extreme is kind of open up just taking over the whole window period and they're off of facebook they're at your site and if you're a hardcore marketer you, you love that and yeah and that's that's an option here too yeah, yeah. I mean, we just wanted to give everybody a choice and maybe a little bit not as extreme as, okay, we're, we're going to let them stay in Facebook, but we're going to open up a new tab. And so you could choose that, or maybe you, you just want to keep them inside of, inside of Facebook. So Yeah, so yeah, if I click now, it's going to take over this tab. Instead of, instead of opening a new one, it's going to take over the Facebook tab. So it takes the user out of Facebook and onto your blog. My first question was, well, Facebook won't like that, but really they don't have a choice if they're going to enable iframes. That's how it is, right? Yep. Uh, you said they can detect, though, when a, a user clicks a link and goes off of Facebook, and, and that's when they charge more for the ads, you said? Well, that's a good question, Willie. What, what we're, once they get to your page, we're past the ad process. So you're, when, when you're setting up an ad campaign inside of Facebook, you're going to put a URL that when they click that ad that you want them to go to. Yeah, so these images over here, if you click this picture, the ad, the link that this this picture points to is considered your ad. So once they click that and get to to your fan page, you can take them from your fan fan page to your website for free. And we've had a couple people join the call since we started, so I just want to go over this one more time. One advantage of having you know, what if you had your why did, why should you have your WordPress site inside of Facebook? I mean, what good is that? Most of mine might ask and. One angle is the advert from an advertising standpoint. If you're gonna ever do be doing Facebook advertising, you actually pay a lot more for ads when you send them outside of the site versus leaving them inside of Facebook. Facebook does not want that traffic to leave. Now they want the advertising dollars. They'll let you send the traffic outside, but they're gonna charge you more. So you can get them to your site inside of Facebook, and then maybe use that those options that we just showed you to. Um, to get them out later if you want. It'll, it'll be your choice. And also for the people who just joined us recently, uh, don't forget, if you stick around to the end of the call, we have a special bonus for everybody that you're going to get absolutely for free for just being on this call. Okay, I'm but but if, you're, if you're using like your page for like list building or something, you don't necessarily have to pull them off Facebook. Though. You can let them fill in a form right there on the page and, and stay there, though, right? And it, the form data would still go where it needs to go. Yeah, like for instance, I'll just um, show you here. On the contact page, I have a form installed. It's um, contact form 7, and now I, I can fill this out here. And when I hit send, it's going to send the email. And your message was successfully sent, thanks. So that email just sent off technically through the WordPress system, but on Facebook. Yep. That, and and so, 
And that could be an Aweber form. It could be anything you want, right? And you can embed it right in a page on Facebook and have them be able to fill out the form on Facebook and capture the information that way, too. And, and that doesn't stop with just contact forms. I mean, what about pop -up, popovers, Evan? Yeah, like say, like the, you can code a, a popover through the, a fancy box or something like that and have that pop up over the top of your Facebook fan page, similar to the way this is popping up here. Yeah, a lot, a lot of you have exit pops or timed pops that pop up, or um, those and are working we, as well. We have that coded into the system where at the bottom of the plugin, there's um, some a uh, section here if you want to execute particular code between the head tags and anybody that's familiar with the pop-ups and they're doing the coding by hand, this section here you would include your JavaScripts or anything along them lines that you want to have in between the head tags and, and it'll execute on your fan page. That, and that's, you know, I'm, I'm not a big coder, mm -hmm. but that's as, as simple as cutting and pasting the code that they give you when you on the whatever you bought. Or your, yep. your your developer gave you, and if you can cut and paste, you just paste it in there, and then click update, and voila, you you got your your light box or whatever you have you you have um your your popover opening up on your Facebook page. And hey, Evan, and a, go ahead. Another thing we added in the plugin was um a spot that you can put your Google Analytics code, so you can add your code in here, and that way you can track your your fan page through Google Analytics, and you can see where people are browsing around and. How people are hitting your page, how people are hitting your fan page. Exactly. You just take your your Google Analytics, and you say, "Well, wait a second. For those of you who are familiar with Google Analytics, you, you know that Google Analytics will not let you. You know, when you set up an account, let's just say you're ABC.com, and you you try to tell um, put that code anywhere except for ABC.com, it's not going to work because you set up that particular profile under abc.com. Well, in the, in, the, in, the, in the code that they give you to paste into your, you know, maybe your header or, or right before the closing head tag, um, it has to be on your website for it to work. Well, what this plugin really does, it replicates a page on your, in the back end of your WordPress that Facebook is pulling from. And so that's the URL for your fan pages technically the same URL as your website. And that's how that works. So I just got, kind of wanted to explain that for, for those of you who might be wondering. And you, you do have one question, uh, uh, George, and Jim Barry is asking if Facebook requires you to purchase ad space or if um, it uses this to become a, a regular fan page. I'm, I'm not sure I fully understand this question, but can you say can, that one more time? Say that one more time, I'm sorry. Uh, one of the questions we're getting, uh, Jim is asking, does Facebook require the purchase of ad space to use this feature? You know, I guess where you're clicking on a Facebook ad to uh, pull the person into your fan page. Well, um, you don't you don't have to buy. You're not required in, to, to use a plugin to install the app in Facebook and use this. You don't have to buy any ads in Facebook. This was only for we were just trying to use the ad feature as an, one of the many advantages of having your website inside of Facebook is that, hey, if Facebook is... If, if you decide to buy ads, that they would be cheaper to do it this way. Because you get to send them straight to your Facebook page and not outside of Facebook. And again, Facebook has a vested interest of keeping in keeping you inside of Facebook so they can control and hopefully get more clicks from you and charge their, their, their advertisers more. Yeah, to, to set up a fan page like this inside of Facebook system is free. We we give you a guide with the plugin that shows you exactly how to do it. It's only it's a pretty straightforward copy and paste where you see you have a, a code that you have to paste into the plugin and a URL that you paste into Facebook pretty much and a couple of different pages that you have to set up when you're doing it. But um, there's a video that guides you right through actually getting your your page inside a Facebook system. Yeah, what what we did on our tutorials, by the way, is um, and we decided, hey, you know, a lot of people, a lot of companies that sell software products, they hide their tutorials inside, and we don't have anything to hide. We want it. We want you to see how the thing works. We want you to feel comfortable about about it. Maybe you won't want the tutorials before you buy, but just knowing that they're there, um, so we said, hey, let's. People who haven't bought the product, at the risk of competitors seeing it, who cares? We want people to see how the thing works. And so you're able to go, and I hate tutorials that are an hour long or real, real complicated, and you don't know where's what's what. So we went to the extra trouble of creating a table of content um, so that 
um, you can you're stuck in an area and you want to you know skim the table of contents and say okay I, I'm stuck in this area what do I do and you can just click it and save time we even did a separate we did three three or four separate tutorials we even did the, for for those of you who are very technical we did a what the famous two minute install yep yeah you, if you know, if you really know what you're doing you can have this thing installed and running in, in less than two minutes and we proved it with that two minute install tutorial and I'm just gonna go to the the workshop there just to show people how to install a theme after you download the theme how you actually install this it's gonna change the look and feel of the page here. Okay. So I'm just going to go in and download the theme pack. And we, we've had while you're doing that, Evan. We've had a couple more callers yep. um, join join late, and for the, for the benefit of those who join late, um, stick around to the end of the call, and we have a free a free plugin that's, that's at least a ninety-seven dollar value. You can't get it on the internet. And we're going to give it to you for free at the end of this call. And we're not even going to give you that plugin. We're going to give you the agency version. You can sit, you know, have on all your sites. And it's personally my favorite plugin because I use it. So I'm just going to install a quick theme here that um I don't know if this one has any menus in it, but um it's a quick and easy one just to show you how to do this. After you download the theme pack and have the plugin installed, you would just go to Upload Mo Theme. And in this section, you're just going to browse to the theme that you downloaded and hit OK. You're going to keep the file zipped, so you, you're going to have just the, the theme itself that's zipped and hit Install. <coughs> My internet's running really slow, though. While we're, while we're waiting, let me say this: mm -hmm. um, we we have really, I mean, we didn't just come out with this plugin in two days, and, and a lot of people do that and come up with an idea. We tested it, we tried it, we got feedback, we listened, we had we introduced it in another in another place, just as to say a trial version and let some people test it and give us feedback, and we listened to not only our customers but the people using this this plugin, and we. I think we thought of almost everything. We've seen a couple people come out with plugins. We saw another one today, and um, it, this particular one it required you um, to set up a separate. What was it? A separate app in in Facebook? A separate separate app. So you a separate tab in this section for, for every, every page. Single what? page. If you wanted five pages, you had and to. Not only that, the page. Yeah, and the pages couldn't run in WordPress and their simultaneous like your home page and then a second page that was a copy of your home page and it would run inside of okay. Facebook. So if you want your customer to go from page one to page two, they have to click over on the left hand side of your menu in Facebook. It's just not gonna happen. And um go ahead, Evan though. Oh, I'm just um I can't wait to talk about the mobile mobile phone issue in just a second. Do you want to go ahead and talk about that? that now, yeah. yeah, that's no problem. Well we're waiting. Um the other, the great side benefit of this plugin is, you know, you, you know how big mobile phones are, and and you know we don't even have to go down that route of how, how big uh, mobility is becoming, and more and more people are trying to look at your website on their mobile phone, and there there are applications out there. I've been on their sites within the last couple of weeks. I've seen twelve hundred dollars. I've seen six hundred and seventy seven dollars. I've seen as little as. 297 for software, and pretty much that software enforces you. And I mean, there's some WordPress versions out there as well, where you, but it pretty much forces you to install your your um, a separate theme or a separate installation of WordPress. And so you have one version of your site for your regular desktop users or laptop users, and another version for mobile phone users. And it's a lot of work. I mean, how many times are you going to go correct a spelling error? And then go remember to correct it somewhere else, just so the mobile phone people will be happy. And our plugin allows you to have a mobile phone a mobile phone version because the Facebook version is small enough that the, this will work on the mobile phone. Evan, are you still having trouble with that? Getting that no, it's up. It's already up there on the screen. Why, why don't we do this? We're going to put the mobile phone part on hold. Let Evan show what he's going to show, and then. Right after that, Evan, you show the, the mobile phone part. 
No, it's good there. I, I already uploaded the theme. It just you see that um, it's got a different color scheme and all the buttons and everything are already cha all changed in the theme here. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now I'll go into the mobile section here. And you just hit generate code, and it's going to give you code that you would paste into your <clears throat> the header of your current theme. So you would take this sec this block of code, and what this is going to do is tell your theme that uh, if anybody hits the website from a browser that's uh, a smaller browser from a mobile phone, it's going to automatically redirect them to this version of your website. So if you have a large website and it would be hard to browse around on a mobile phone, you can have them browsers redirected to the smaller version. That'll fit their phone a lot better. So where is that script pasted? In the head head tag of your current WordPress theme. Okay. So you would just go into your appearance and editor, and in the header of you would put it in between the head tags. Okay. And you can put it anywhere. You just look for the closing head tag, so this tag right here, and you would just space that out and paste that in here. Okay. It, it, it basically detects what the browser is and that it's a mobile device, and so it shows the appropriate yep. page. It, it, what it does is this version of the script, there's two different versions that we have here. There's one that basically detects, I'm just going to hit the generate code button. This one detects any browser that is using a screen width that is less than 699 pixels, which is basically no computer user will be using a screen that size. Right. Uh, I believe 700, 699 pixels will cover all mobile devices. And there's also another version for more advanced users that it, clicks, it, it gives a, a link to here. It's called um, Google PHP Mobile Detect. And what that version does is it detects the actual browser name. So since, like, say if somebody's on an iPhone, they're using an iPhone browser, and an Android is using an Android browser and so on and so forth, it detects what browser the user is using, and de depending on what browser they're using, they, re they get redirected or stay. Okay. And you can click that there, and if you want to use this script instead, and you can go here and download the script that Google released for us. <coughs> But this is definitely the easiest way of doing it. For and it's just a matter of taking that block of code, and you'll notice that it automatically will fill in the proper links and sizes and stuff for you. So it's just a matter of copying that and put it in, putting it into your WordPress theme. Now, one other thing I'll cover really quickly is just the easy styles. Now, in the Facebook page, you'll notice that um, like say this link here is black with a like a yellowish, greenish color hue. And if I go into the easy styles, the page and post title settings, I have all these color settings and sizes and bold and everything right in front of me here. So if I wanted that color to be, say, blue, which wouldn't work with this theme, but just uh, for demonstration, and the hover color to be red, I can just select these colors, scroll down, and hit update. And on the Facebook page now, any of the H1, any of the titles will take on the new color skip settings that I just set up. And you can also change, like, say, the your body font, your menu font, the font and the buttons. And for instance, another setting that's in the Easy Styles is you see the date that's showing on the page. If you don't want to show dates on your Facebook page, inside of the Easy Style section. You'll notice a date setting. So if you want to show dates for posts or pages, you, you can just turn these settings on and off. So I, if I say I don't want to show dates, and I say no there, and I hit update, now the Facebook page, when I refresh that, the date will go away, and the, the paragraph will move up some. OK. And that's actually for someone who doesn't update their blog that often and doesn't want people to know that the, data, the information is old. Yeah, exactly. I, that was actually um, a request by somebody, somebody that um, had a blog and they had a, a lot of posts, but they didn't really update it very often, so they, they wanted to hide the dates, so we just made it really quick and simple that they can just use the toggle there to shut dates on and off. Yep. Hey, uh, now, uh, speaking of l lazy people, there are people who uh, you know use plugins and like maybe automatically post articles to their blogs once a week or once a day. Th that can that plugin could still you know echo this stuff on their WordPress on their Facebook profile too, couldn't it? 
Exactly. Yeah, they could just go up here to the top of the plugin, and where um, you you see the show last section. So say they want to show their last five posts, they could just hit yes to this, and then and and update, and it would show the f the last five posts in their excerpts, and I'll link to read more on the the home page. Okay. Hey, and and also Willie and Evan, um, we we're we're trying to. We had a, we've had a couple, a couple more people join us late. I, I do want to again mention that we're going to give away a free plugin if you stay away to the, if you stay to the end of the call. But times when you're going to want content on your website, and we've already covered this a little bit, but I thought maybe Evan could, could show them. There's going to be time when you times that you want a page on your website. It does not belong inside of Facebook, and you don't want your Facebook people because maybe you've got a, a 282 page website. And you want to take your seven most important pages and put them inside of Facebook. Well, Evan, we can do that, right? Well, all you would have to do is just not configure the plugin to show them. So in this section here, you see the new one I just added there. Well, it's a, this is a test post. Okay. And now the page is showing up in here. So if I want to show that one on my home page instead of, say, the home page, I can just check that off now and hit updates. And, and it'll show that one. But what I'll, I'll show right quick is the last post section. So I'll just set this to say five and hit updates. Do I have an excerpt set? I don't remember. I think it's for 250 or something. Yeah, I'll change it to 250 and I'll hit updates. So now I, I got it set so that I'm not showing any particular pages or posts, but I'm showing my last five posts. Okay. So now inside of inside of Facebook, it's going to show my last five posts that I've posted, and you'll see that the, the, it's, it's changed to the, the post I've just made. So now I'll make another quick sample post there. And Evan, I just made that post, you just made that post in, on the website. I don't want it to show up on my website. Maybe I just want it to show up on Facebook and not on my website. What do I do? You, you don't want it to show up on Facebook? No, I want it to be on Facebook, but I don't want it to be on my website. In other words, I want to create a page just for Facebook, and I don't want anybody on my website. You know, maybe I want to say, well, oh, one sec. I'll show that. In one sec. There's a welcome area. I'll, I'll cover that in just one sec there. I'm just going to refresh the It's really too to do that, I guess. Yep. And you see the, the latest post is up the top here now, Willie? Right. And I have the read more button, which right now I have set to take me to the website because I changed that setting in the plugin. Okay. Now, if you didn't want a page to show on your website, though, George, uh, a real simple way of doing it is if you just create a page and set it so that it doesn't show in your 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 website menu, and then select it in the plugin itself. So, if I I wanted this page to show on Facebook and not the my current website, I could just have it. So it's not in my menu on my WordPress site, so and check it off in this block, and it'll show inside of Facebook, but not inside of my work website. And now the opposite: if you want a, a page, like say you had um, a page, for instance, that you had a plugin on that you didn't want people to be able to basically get access to from Facebook through your plugin, what you can do is you can you can protect pages so that people can't access that page on Facebook unless it actually sees your, they're on your website. So if I enable protection and I say I don't want anybody to be able to see this is a, a, a test post and I check that page off. Now if this post ended up inside of Facebook, it's protected now so they won't be able to see more on Facebook. And oh, I'm just going to make it so it stays on Facebook. So they would, they would be able to see the teaser but wouldn't be able to access what's protected. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, every now and then there's going to be times or seasons where you say, you know what, I want to show something special for, my, for the Facebook people that's not on my website. I still want everything on my website now. I want my, I want my about page and contact us and everything else and all the inner pages and maybe some posts. But I want a special page just for Facebook. And we, we kind of looked at it, and that's what we decided to do with, with our, our marketing online workshop. Facebook page, and Evan, show them, show them what we do with that. Oh, with the, the welcome text, you yep. mean, is it George? Yep. Okay, just one second.
now I had the I had just protected that page, so now when I go to that one, it's going to say that the file can, is protected and can't be accessed through Facebook, and you can change this message to be whatever you want. Now that would be we only really included that is because we personally run a, a, a membership site that there is content that we want protected that we didn't want people to be able to get a backdoor to the content through the the plugin so we we coded it in a way that if you want certain files to be protected from Facebook that you can set them that no way that as long as they're on Facebook, they won't be able to access that page unless they go to your site to access the page. Yeah, there's some very technical people who, who know that their way around this system, and they'll go up to the URL bar, and they'll they'll know what, what to type in that URL bar to get into uh, other inner pages that perhaps you didn't want people to see. Right. So, so maybe you run a membership site, and you, let's just say you've got 200 pages of protected membership content, and you did this plugin just perfectly, and you did everything you're supposed to do, but you didn't fill out the right part. You know, we started the, the site without that and we thought about that later. Somebody who really knows that that's technical can go into Facebook, go into the URL bar and type something and get to that membership page that you didn't, that you're making other people pay to get to. And so we thought of that feature as well. So you, you don't even have to worry if you've got, you know, protected content. You can protect it out of this. Um, so that protected content, people who can't access it, they generally are going in through some password protected area? Right. Okay. Okay. Now this section here is the welcome text for the Facebook plugin. I'm just going to update that there. It just says uh, "Welcome Facebook users" or something along those lines. And what it's going to do is it's going to put it on the top of the home page. So you see, it added that content to the home page there. Now, if I hit re read more on any of these, that'll disappear. So if you wanted a custom home page for just Facebook, which is exactly how we did it for the, the marketing online workshop page, that we you can just put content in this welcome area. So this welcome area will only be shown on Facebook. So if you want to have, say, a completely different home page from any page on your website for your website on Facebook, you can put all that content in this block with images or whatever you want and still have the links up the top that link to your other pages, but you have a, a, a welcome page that is basically structured for your Facebook users and it talks about the page on Facebook rather than it, you might want to have different wording than your actual home page so you Images, can do that in form, this whatever and no. there, there are going to be some people who decide hey I, I want this plug in and I'm only going to use the welcome text I want to be able to yeah that's actually actually exactly how I, we set up the the marketing online workshops fan page there are you going to show on that one yeah, I'll just go to the. Hey, don't don't show them all the other plugins we got planned now. <laughs> so, so you see the welcome text area we have it, and that's where it's showing our video and stuff like that, and the image. It was, so we have our video playing here. Now this this WYSIWYG editor, you can, they can code in raw HTML, or they can look at it the way you're looking at it, where they see what it's going to look like. Yep. There's two different ways. They can hit the HTML button here, and it'll bring up the, the code this way. Or if, for people that just don't like the editors, like normally I'll just shut the editors off because uh, I prefer not to use them myself. So we, uh, we coded that in, too. So down the bottom of the page here, you can disable the WYSIWYG editor. I'll go back to the, um, the know, test page to do it there. We had some, some, some I want to say, violent arguments. But we, <laughs> we had some arguments while we were uh, working on this plugin. Or I won't say arguments, disagreements, but but the bottom line is we're we're trying to appease both coders. We're trying to appease people who don't know a lot about coding and they know how to do a WYSIWYG WYSIWYG editors, and the people in between. And so there's some what I like to call them purists. Right. Right. They they like to type code themselves. They don't they don't need any help. They don't need Dreamweaver. You guys are covered. For those like me who need all the help we can get, we're covered. And and I'm, Willie, I'm glad you asked that question because we even thought of Evan. Why don't you scroll all the way to the bottom and show them how the very, very technically minded people, if they want to get into the, um, if you want to edit your style sheet for the Facebook plugin, yeah. you, you can just click here and it's going to take you to the style sheet that was. Now this is the style sheet that was uploaded when I uploaded my theme. And, and, we and got you can it, get in and change all the the coding here if you wanted to. And we got it nicely commented out, so even if you 
you know, just enough to be dangerous, maybe somebody like me, you can go down there and say, well, okay, I understand that. I know I have to do a little bit of padding and a little bit of um, to change the background image and all that. Or, for instance, if you want to have a different size header image, so you want to change your header image, you can go in here and find the header image. So I'll just do a search for header. And you knew that the new the new height for your header image was a different size. So right now our default image with the theme is 500 pixels wide and 382 pixels high. If you made an image that's 500 by 250, you could upload that image and, and change the image here and then just change the height. Okay, we um, we talked about the fact that they could they're basically putting their WordPress blog on Facebook. Where are they putting it? Is it the default homepage, you know, for their Facebook profile, or is the fan page that's off to the side? Well, that's an option that they can select in when you edit your your actual your Facebook page. You have an option of what page you want to be your home page on your Facebook page. So if they wanted their their website to be pretty much the only thing they see, you see how they have there's a wall and other tabs. Right. Now, if they want it that their website to be their home page, so if anybody hits their page, they you see the home page. They they have a selection where they can select that this is the page that I want new users to see. Okay. So it, I think Facebook calls it the default landing page. So you would just set this tab to be your default landing page for your fan page, and when you, they hit it, they'll always hit the home page of your website. So, so again, I, I think we pretty much thought that, that that's the way we have it set up for our site, isn't it, George? Marketing online workshop. Yep. I believe. I'm a admin, so it's going to go to the admin section. But yeah, that's something worth noting. Um, if you're an admin for your Facebook, you can set now. You can set your. I mean, I had a hard time understanding this, and I would call one of our coders and say, "I, I thought we had our our." Facebook set up to be our when we go to our Facebook the default landing page is the website and not our wall and and they will go well it's set right it's set right well the problem is if you're an admin it's not gonna it's gonna always default at your put your wall is that right Evan it's exactly not, yeah it's not even though your users are gonna you know you can log out and maybe log into somebody else and it's gonna de default at the, the the website if you, if that's what you set. And if uh -huh. you're going to use this, you're going to probably want to set the default landing page to be um, your website. And I think you probably what you want to do is experiment with what you're going to name those tabs because you have an ability. You know, when you say the wall info photos, you have the wall the ability to name that tab. You might say our website or maybe special offer or visit us now or something. Something and experiment and see what does the best when you name that tab. You don't just have to say website. Okay. Evan, did you have anything else to show that we need to get into questions? Well, I think or? that pretty much covers the, the main parts of the plugin. And again, we, we've got very detailed training um, and you know we, we're we we just want to make sure that everybody understands everything. We put for those of you who joined late, we we put our training, we decided we made a decision, let's put all of our tutorials. Yes, we know competitors will look at that and see everything without buying, whatever. We, we wanted people who were interested in buying this, pro, this product to see that we're serious about it, and that's why we put our tutorials out, out front so everybody could see how it worked. And, um, of course, you've seen a, a lot that's in the tutorials, and the tutorials will slow down a little bit because we, for lack of time, we're having to, to speed up. So some of this might have gone over some people's heads, but when you can pause the video and go do it, it'll make a lot, of, a lot more sense. Now, before we get into our special offer and also tell everybody about the, the free plugin that you're going to get, we, we probably have some questions. Willie, do we have any? I don't think we can see. Well, I just want to explain why, why I flipped over this thing. is because I'm, I've got all these sites out there, and I'm trying to figure out how to get more eyeballs on my web pages. And so people are always trying to figure out how to get people to visit their website. I'm looking at the fact that Facebook is 600 million users, and, and they're already there all you know, every day, some of them for over hours a day. So why not uh, at least show your website to those people who drop by your profile all the time anyway? Uh, and, and it actually gets you indexed a lot quicker and a lot of other things. So I think you do want your website on Facebook. Yeah, and another big thing about that, Willie, is uh, Facebook search. So if somebody's 
search. So a lot of people are starting to use social media sites for searching for products and things of that nature. And the search function up in Facebook, when you actually type something in, Facebook has precedence for people that have pages that are inside of Facebook versus people that are outside of Facebook. Okay. So if I type in marketing online workshop, so I'll type in just marketing online, you'll notice that it took me right to marketing online workshop right. rather than showing me a list of people that are outside of Facebook. Now if I just typed in internet marketing, And I do a search. It's well, actually, it's still taking me to. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> hey, well, we're we're optimized for that, aren't we? Um, I'll just type in tennis shoes. Your your prime example, George. <laughs> yeah, I love the use of when I'm doing SEO training. I use. Now, you notice it took me to somebody's fan page that is tennis shoes rather than taking me to a search. Now what it'll do is if nobody had a fan page that matched tennis shoes, it would list then it would list page outside actual web pages that Facebook pulls in from Bing and it would list them the way Google lists the same way you would see in Google or Bing a search right. that fits in here. But since somebody has made a fan page called tennis shoes, when somebody searches for it in Facebook, it's bringing them to the fan page rather than because the name matched. Now, we had a, a very, very good question on, on a, another call that we did one time. Or, and somebody said, well, isn't, isn't this duplicate content? I mean, I've got my web, website. I don't want to have duplicate content. I have it in Facebook. It's an iframe. It's not duplicate content. When, when Google crawls the site, Google sees it's an iframe. And I don't think Google can crawl this site anyway because it's behind. Um, the lake script. Yeah. Or, or you have to log in for a lot of different things. So, um, but it's an iframe, and you don't have and to work. Yeah. So Google sees it's pulling it from your website. Yeah, and Evan, click the video button. I mean, we even sized everything so that we could play video right from. So people can visit our website inside of Facebook. And notice we only have 83 people, 83 likes, folks. I mean, <laughs> we're we haven't dropped any traffic here yet. At all. We haven't tried up. really. Um, we've helped. Now we have clients that that have thousands and thousands of friends. But it's like the shoemaker's kids that don't have any shoes. We're so busy working with our clients, we don't have enough time to work on our own site. But um, again, we run an offline company and that, that helps people market online for some of the people, people who join late. And um, we're number one in Google for some huge terms around SEO and around, around pay-per-click. But our passion is listening to our customers and coming out with products, and we love WordPress and listening to the people who buy our products. And not only do we have this Facebook plug-in that we're about to show you a special offer on, we're also, we have, what, Evan, um, four or five more great, and, 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 and Willie knows what two of them are. Right. Yeah, there's, yeah. yeah, and there's some big ones that are going to be coming in the next, probably, I'd say, month, month and a half, I'd pretty much. We should be able to get them finished up. Absolutely. And, and in the next couple of weeks, there'll definitely be one finished. And then once we finish that one, we'll move on to the next and just yeah. keep on pulling them out as quick as we can. And anybody that's a gold member of the workshop will get all them plugins. Absolutely. So, it, it, Evan, are we, are we done with the demo? And, 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 yep. and folks, do you have any, any questions? Will, I don't think we can see the questions from our login. Do you, no. Does anybody have I don't anything? See I, I don't see any more questions. Okay, um, or maybe somebody needs to raise their hand or something. Otherwise, we'll we'll just go ahead and move to the uh, to to our offer. I, I think I need to change. Uh, um, Evan, can you make me the presenter, or Willie? Uh, I'll make you the presenter. Or, okay. Yeah. I I can't hear it. Well, that was easy. Yeah. A whole lot of <laughs> well, maybe we did a good job, and we just answered everybody's questions while we we're doing. It. <laughs> I would like to thank that. Um, <laughs> Well, um, again, um, our, our, our plug-in, obviously, we're not giving away for free. And it, it includes some very, very special bonuses. And um, first of all, uh, special bonus number one, it's a free copy of one of our, our very, very favorite plug-ins. And that's what I like, the Mo SEO. And Mo SEO, you're seeing a – y'all see my screen now, Willie? Yes. Yep. Okay. Mo, Mo SEO, now, 
I'm I'm passionate about SEO. I mean, I've spent God uh, fifty thousand dollars plus on SEO training, um, and worked with some of the best SEO people in 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 the in the whole country and one on one with a guy who's response well, probably the top SEO person in all Europe that's taught me, and I love SEO, but it's so boring. And and, and those of you who are doing SEO, um, it's boring, and that's that's why you don't do it. Well, we made a plugin that kind of makes it fun. And it allows you to set some predefined things, and I just love it. And when and now you can at one glance you can see all the pages that are optimized, and there's not such there's not really a perfect a thing as such a thing as a perfectly optimized page, but you can actually see that the work's been done. All those X's mean it hasn't been done. That's a screenshot saying, hey, you can, this page needs work. But you get the SEO plugin uh, when you when you get our when it, when you as a special bonus when you get our product. Um, the Mo SEO is our secret tool. It makes you know, it helps you make sure again that all pages are, are optimized, and it works as an. It's, it, you actually have to have the all-in-one SEO plugin, which is free, and it's an add-in to that. It's kind of it kind of like makes it run on steroids, and again, um, it's real easy to use, and we have some great training videos on it, and you're seeing an inside screenshot of that. But it's it's not available. You're, it's not even for sale yet. We debated whether or not we even wanted to put it on the market, but it's yours and it's it's for free when you get a copy of our of our plugin. So you get that in addition to that. Now, special friends for Willie Crawford, um, you're going to get that just for being on this webinar. You don't have to join the list. We talked about that, and you don't have to do anything. We're going to put that plugin, and um, we talked about it, Willie. That we're going to get the plugin, but Evan and I decided that we're going to not only are we going to get the plugin, you can use it as many times as you want it, and we took off any type of licensing requirements, so you can use it on if you're a, if you you do SEO work or internet marketing work or for your clients, you can use it on all their client all their sites. We don't care, and um, so we're going to give you a special link for that plugin, you know, at the and, and where the tutorials are at the end of this call. So you get that just for being on the call, and you don't have to join the list. Okay, so I hope. Oh, that's really good. It's my favorite plugin, and when you learn how to use it, I think. I, I, in fact, today I talked to somebody, Willie, and I mean, I know, I know for a fact that when, when if you if you do blogging or article marketing, if you'll take an extra three minutes at the end of that post or end of that article, and you'll spend just a little bit of time with the Mo SEO because it pretty pretty much doubles it. It pretty much cuts in half the amount of time you need for SEO. Um, you, you can triple your traffic. And we know that because we've done it over and over for our clients, and we've showed them how to do it, or we do it for themselves. You write an article and let some some plugin do all the work. That's not going to work. Spend a little bit of time and do it yourself using a tool that we've used. You're going to triple your traffic because you'll have a better optimized, you know, at least on page right. optimized site. So uh, more bonuses coming. Um, keep watching. We're we're almost done. And um, special bonus number two: um, a free basic membership. In the marketing online workshop now, marketing online workshop right now is a little baby. Um, we didn't even think of the marketing online workshop until after we had done a radio a radio show. Evan and I back in um, was it January, Evan? February. Yeah, February. The, the end of February. And, 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 and I mean, come on, guys, y'all could have had marketing. I said, well, you know, we need to have a radio. Sh we need to have a shop for training people online. Uh, marketing online workshop, something like that. And I said, I wonder if that's available. Said, no way. And, it was available. MarketingOnlineWorkshop.com. Amazing. Um, so uh, we, we we got that site. We have lined up some great people to give content. I mean, I don't know if you've heard of Ray Edwards, the great copywriter. Absolutely. Works, uh, yeah, you know some of the people he's worked with. Tony Ro Anthony Robbins, Tony Robbins. Um, we got Mark is it Canefield, the guy who wrote Jack Canefield for Chicken Soup for right. the Soul. I can go on and on. He's going to be our going to be training us on copywriting. You can get all that for free. Uh, we're going to get. Um, we, we've we've got a great conversion specialist. We, we've got some people showing you how to make money on eBay lined up. Um, we're putting in content almost every every day or so, new content, a free membership site where you you can learn stuff for free. Uh, Marketing online workshop, and again, we have uh, tutorials on SEO. You see there, and these are all the different little sections that we're going to be uh, training you on. So, again, there's two levels of membership: basic and gold, and the the basic membership is absolutely free. You, you will have a chance to join Gold if you want, and um, 
but you basically you're going to get all kinds of different tra you know training on many many different subjects and we're just going to keep coming out with stuff because when I started marketing online I, I literally you're talking to somebody who spent probably over hundred and fifty thousand dollars in the last five years on training courses most of which did me no good and it, they always left something out and I always would get mad I, I got you know I really got real mad I, I tell you and I'm getting passionate here I got real mad when you go to the order button and you're buying and they say wait wait I, 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 love, I love but wait but I also hate but wait right and I may as well I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this but wait if you really want this product to work good you know, like they tell something back from you. You're about to spend forty-seven dollars. You're excited. Um, if you really want it to work good, you need a hundred ninety-seven dollar version. I said, wait a second. I just thought the forty-seven dollar version was what I wanted, and now you're telling me if I really wanted to, I hate that. I really do. And so, and and I understand. I understand marketing, and I understand the need for all that kind of stuff. And um, so we, we're kind of at a quandary you know, of marketing versus. But we, we want the customer to feel good. We I don't, I don't want people to go through what I went through. We're, 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 we want to train you, and we can do it for free in a marketing online workshop. Just give us time, and um, I think everybody on this call needs to join that. It's absolutely free. But um, um, again, you get all these different types of trainings, and it's stuff that you need to know. And we're a team of professionals. Marketing online workshop is it's not just one part. It's not just me and Evan. It's a, a whole team, and we're missing. A lot of team members here, but um, you're seeing some of the main ones. And this guy plays Santa Claus during um, Christmas, by the way. He's a real good <laughs> Santa Claus. And he's got a great Santa Claus voice. He'll probably call your kids for free. He loves it. Anyway, um, but uh, we help people market online. We're, we're, we're a team of professionals, and we work with companies. Um, we can't. Some companies we can't put up here because we have agreements where we don't disclose. Yeah, non-disclosures. Yeah. And we're working with some some nice companies, and we help them rank real highly in the search engines, and and do other things with pay per click and design, etc. So what you're going to get is with as as part of the free basic membership, as part of uh, if you if you go go with the plug in, you're going to get free training on HTML and CSS, website design, website graphics. You're going to get um, uh, search engine optimization, keyword research, web analytics, pay per click. We're going to show you how to use your hosting company cPanel. Um, uh, it, we're going to show you stuff like um, Facebook and other social media training. We're bringing in a couple experts for that. Um, advanced FTP tutorials. And if you don't think you need to know about FTP, and you're you're trying to do this on a budget, and you want to, you got another thought coming. Um, Evan, how many times have I totally obliterated sites with FTP? <laughs> you you've done some pretty bad damage on FTP a couple. Times. How many times have you woken up in the morning and the site not be working because I was tired at two o'clock in the morning? So. What One time I woke up in the morning, there were 80 sites that weren't working because you took the whole main directory and moved this. I didn't know about FTP, but I'm, I'm dumb, and that's good. I finally, I finally confessed it to somebody the other day. I said, you know what? It's good that I'm dumb because I'm like 99% of the other people, and I, and I know how to get – they're going to tell me why we did it, and we, we know how to make it simple. So I'm glad that I'm dumb. I, I, I can make it simple for, for everybody else like me. Um, training on various software to make this more efficient, that's another big area. If you want to market online, you got to know how to manage your time, and you got to know how to be good on a lot of different tools. Uh, WordPress training and, and tutorials, and you're probably going to get some of the best WordPress training and tutorials. We don't have a lot uploaded yet on that, but you're talking to WordPress experts, and I, I say that unashamedly. I'm not bragging; I'm just telling the truth. Um, training on WordPress plugins. Um, Actually, I had a client call me yet yesterday, George, about the convert your current website to WordPress in five minutes video I did on, I believe I did it on the Warrior Forum, and I got a phone call last night, a client that seen the video and um, wanted me to do his website after he watched the video. I was able to take a plain CSS template and put it into WordPress, and it took me about four and a half minutes. Yeah, people say, well, I mean, a lot of you, got, a lot of you people are out there looking at WordPress plugins when you go to look at the themes. And, and, and not WordPress plugins, you're going to like ThemeForest and, and all the other places, the Woo themes looking for WordPress themes, and did you know that you could go to any HTML site that, that shows HTML templates and pick one of them, and in five minutes we can get it into WordPress? You're not limited just to WordPress themes, right, Evan? 
Yeah, it's extremely easy to, to convert a, a HTML and CSS theme into WordPress. And we don't use software to do it. Oh my God! If you use software, we already. <laughs> oh yeah, it. software yeah. makes a real mess of it. Yeah, we we you, you can do you can do it by hand in under five minutes. I have got the video on YouTube to prove it. <laughs> so, you're talking to people who are going to show you how to do all that, and and um, we're, we're just waiting for your questions when you join the shop. That just show us how to do this, and we'll show you how to do it. Um, so how much is the, the Mo Facebook plugin? You're probably asking. Well, um, first I want to ask you. Um, you know, we're talking about putting your WordPress, your 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 essentially putting your, putting your website onto Facebook, and and here, here's some uh, a site that we did, and you're able to again put your uh, build a site in, inside of Facebook, and it, doing this can be very expensive. And I don't know if you've done any internet searching, like uh, go to Google and type in Facebook developer. Well, to build a Facebook fan page is about twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah, to somebody, to say, somebody to do us. I was about to say twenty three ninety seven is a very very popular one that a lot of people use, yep. and um, it can be very very expensive. Now, um, um, if you you have a designer and say okay, because it's not one it's one thing to build to build it, and now you got to make changes, and so you do, you pay that twenty three hundred dollars, and then you pay it over and over and over, and it can be very very expensive. So um, not only can you save hours and hours of time, but you can attract more clients now because you have a professional-looking Facebook fan page. And we know the value of your time. You know, if you if you if you can do this, you'll be able to finally implement all your ideas online. We're, we're trying to help you save time, and all the value of that is priceless. But the the Mo Facebook plugin pretty much takes your existing website and it puts it inside. Of Facebook, taking that, all that existing content, so so you can run both on one application. Now, you, again, you're going to get special bonus number one, free copy of our favorite, one of our favorite, or my favorite plugin. That's the Mo SEO, and again, it's our secret tool that helps you, you know, get everything um, um, optimized if there is such a thing, and help, it, it pretty much makes the, the you know the all-in-one SEO plugin run on ster store steroids. It's not available in stores or anything like that, or on the internet. It's yours for free when you when when you get a copy of the Mo Facebook WordPress plugin. Now, again, special bonus number two is a basic membership in the Marketing Online Workshop. All members are going to get all the training that we talked about earlier. I'm not going to read all this again for you for, for sake of time, but we have professionals that are coming on board on some of these areas to help us train. And of course, we've got a lot of training uh, capability inside of our because we, we help customers do this all the time uh, for you know, on a full-time basis. Now, the great news, you're going to get all of this and more. It's only $97 for the plug-in, and you're going to, be again, be able to take your existing WordPress content, put it inside of Facebook. But we want to make this very, very easy for you. We're going to give you the agency version of the Mo Facebook, and the agency means you get to install this on an unlimited number of sites. Now, the regular version, you have a, I forgot how many. It's five. OK, five. But, but many of you have many, many sites. And you're going to be, you're going to want to install it on, on your sites or maybe an, an unlimited number of sites. Now, your client sites. Yeah. And your, your neighbor's sites. <laughs> some of you don't have any clients. But what if you were, I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, I could go out tomorrow. I'm not, and I know how door to door is. I've done it. Uh, for, I, I've been a door-to-door -door salesperson. I was for 10 years in, in business and also in, in, in insurance and things like that years ago, but I did it. And I know that that's not easy, so I'm not going to sit here and tell you and be like some of the people that talk about online business marketing, how easy it is when they've never, people out there selling, selling courses and they've never graced the doors of a business. It kind of makes me want to throw up because it's hard. But I can tell you, with the power of Facebook, how big that is, and people, businesses with um, that are um, that everybody knows about social media. I could literally go out, and I could probably get if I just work like three hours a day. I could do enough contacting. I could get somebody to listen to me and tell them, "Hey, I can put your website. Not only can I do redo your website, I can put it on um, Facebook, just like it is." And and a lot of you know a lot about WordPress, and you can do this, or you can sub it out and pay somebody 50 bucks and charge a client $497 or $997. I'm telling you, you can do it, and you can start your own business and do this. Um, 
you know, people will pay you a lot of money. You can make a lot of money by doing this as a, as a consultant, a Facebook consultant. Again, you can charge clients hundreds of dollars for doing this. There's probably about three or four competitors of our product out there on the market. Evan and I looked at a, a, a new one today. Evan, I mean, there's nothing close. Is None it? of them even come close. Not even, not even close. Not even close. And um, we're here. We're going to help you. And you can build up an ongoing stream. And this is a lead-in. You could do this as a lead-in. And, and now you're in the door, and you can get other businesses as well. You can help them with their Twitter and with their, um, their websites, et cetera. So you can make a lot of money. That's a $147 value that we're, because we're giving you the agency version, and you're going to get that um, for $97. Now, the next step, now, there's not a button yet. I'm going to send you to a button. But you're going to set up your profile and get started and start with the, the, the agency version of, of the Mo Facebook and um, get ready to make your Facebook page stand out from the rest. But you don't want your competitors to beat you, and people are going to be doing this all over the place. Um, get your copy now. Now, the words I hate sometimes, but wait. <laughs> but wait. Um, for everyone who purchases now, they get to take advantage of a free webinar just for the friends of Willie Crawford. Now, guys, and, and I, I'm not trying to be sexist. I don't mean the guys. Everybody, <laughs> we, um, we are doing other webinars, and Willie's special. And I know that a lot of people trust Willie. And he's, in fact, I was, I was in the audience one time when they introduced Willie, and he's known as the, the most honest guy on the Internet. Is that right, Willie? What do they call you? The most, most honest guy on the Internet. The internet. Most trusted guy. Most yeah. trusted guy on the internet. So trust me when I'm saying we're not doing this for anybody else. Okay, we don't have enough time. We're, we're booked. But just for Willie, for the friends of Willie, um, use the plug-in, ask us questions. We will help you, and we're going to do a free webinar just for you people. Now, what we'll do... Anybody that has any problem, we're basically going to hold your hand and setting up the plug-in on your own sites. Absolutely. And we can't again. We don't have the resources to do that for everybody. We just can't. But we're going to do it for Willie's list and and your friends of Willie. And we're going to and, and we want the the questions to start immediately. We're going to answer you. But then we're going to do a special webinar. You'll get a link. And if you can't attend it live, we, you can at least ask your question. We'll cover it. We'll cover every single question. And then we are going to. Um, Put that recording online and get it to you if, in case you couldn't be there live because some of you work, and you're going to be able to um, access that and see see your question answered. So we're doing that for everybody who purchases now. The, the, the place to go get that is MoSB.com. You don't have to capitalize MoSB, but M-O-W for Marketing Online Workshop, SB.com. Now, for those of you who waited for your – who say, I'm not interested right now, but I want my free – uh, plug in. Um, again, you, you're going to need to go to marketingonlineworkshop.com slash Willie to get that plug in, and you don't have to join the list. You don't have to do anything except download it. Please don't share it with your friends. That wouldn't be ethical. Um, it's just for friends of Willie, and we're, we're going to probably take this down at the end of a certain time. And So it's, again, marketingonlineworkshop.com slash Willie. But hopefully, for those of you who want to get this plug in, it's MoSB.com. And we really, really appreciate you all staying on the call. We, we look forward to helping you successfully market, marketing your business online with MoSB and with Marketing Online Workshop. And Evan, do you, do you have anything to say at the end? No, that's, a, that's everything. George, you did a great job there. And I thought so, too. Yeah, I, I look at this, and I see myself going to my local Chamber of Commerce meeting or my local Glacier Kennedy Insider Circle meeting where you stand up and introduce yourself, and I say to all these business owners, uh, I can put you in front of 600, the 600 million people on Facebook, put your entire site there for, like, you know, $1,000 or whatever, talk to me afterwards, and I'll have it done by tomorrow, and uh, they'll show <laughs> themselves. I, I can see that happening because I, I go to these meetings all the time, and these business owners know that there's millions of potential customers on Facebook. And for you to be able to just put their website on Facebook is incredibly powerful. They'd be crazy not to, to take advantage of an offer like that. You know, and what I would, actually, I had a new client contact me about three days ago that needed their website put inside of Facebook, and they were contacting me to build them a, a Facebook fan page. And they didn't even know that 
I built the plugin, let, let alone that I was one of the people that helped build it. And I was able to take their website and put it into Facebook in about a, a little sh less than an hour. I was able to install it, configure it, and design them a custom theme that matched their website perfectly. And, wow. and you know what, Willie? Well, you know what I would do? <clears throat> What's that? Do? I would go to I'd go to V Worker. Used to be Rent-A-Coder. I'd go to V Worker. I would find me somebody. I'd get them a copy of this plugin, and I'd hire them and say, "Look, I'll pay you." I'd set up a bid and, and see what see what I would get. But I, I'd I'd probably pay twenty five bucks. Yeah. To yeah. get it done, and I'd go out and I'd just spend my time marketing, and because all you really need is somebody who's a little technical and knows um, something about design, and and they can make. And of course, you don't have to know anything about design to get this plugin installed, but but if you really wanted to make that client t totally happy, you maybe go a little bit extra ex extra. But you're going to charge them somewhere between um, five hundred dollars to two thousand dollars. Again, the average out there, not the average, but some of the greater ones out there charge twenty three hundred ninety seven dollars for. Um, to design a, a just one fan page, page, yeah. Just one fan page, yeah. Wow. So, oh, so we we basically handed the, the people who grab this uh, plugin a business in a box if they want it. Exactly. Well, they can take this plugin and it's let, let's just say that they only get five hundred dollars for the fan fan page, so they're going to get a five hundred percent return on their investment just by making one sale. Not to mention the fact that they'll be able to put their own page inside of Facebook at the same time. Right. Yeah, which is what what I encourage everyone on the call to do. I mean, if you're if you're not on Facebook and you're not using Facebook and sending to all these people you chit chat with over to look at what you do for a business, you're you're missing out on you know that that gets rid of that guilty feeling about hanging out on Facebook all day. Yeah, <laughs> my my mother and my wife and a bunch of other people in the family, they all seem to love Facebook and they're all on their farm and, and I told my mother for Christmas I'm going to buy her a cow so she can go out in the backyard so all the farming she's putting in will we'll get some milk out of the deal. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I don't see any questions coming in though so if you want to we could you know go ahead and wrap it up but I do highly encourage people to go over to uh, mowfb.com and grab this plug-in. Uh, you're going to your competitors are going to be grabbing it soon, so you want to beat them to the punch. And it's a, I like that uh, SEO plugin too, which means all your your posts are going to be highly optimized for the search engines. You're going to rank a lot higher for your keywords, and you're going to do really well there too. You guys were saying you.